right, welcome back. Okay, so now it is time for the finale. Well, at least part of the finale of Odin Sphere. Time for us to read the Book of Armageddon. I don't know if that's appropriate reading material for the small child. And again, the last couple books haven't exactly been, you know, PG. It's time for Ragnarok, are you ready? It's all been leading up to this. <sighs> and we're starting off with Ingwe. The spell of Darkova is still affecting me. I knew it would happen, but my heart is tainted. I can't bear it. Like a wolf, my hunger eats away at my very core. Velvet, not even you are safe from my appetite for human flesh. This shall be my end. So Ingwe's not doing so great. But I cannot rot like this. Oh boy, there's Leventhin. Feel like somebody should have killed this dragon. Over here, let me oh look! And it's the King of Valentine. Feel like somebody should have killed him too. Feels like this could have been avoided. Now sleep. Dream of devouring all. I feel like this whole thing could have been avoided. Hmm. I wonder how it could have been avoided. I don't know. Just it escapes me, honestly. again set this cauldron alight it should know who its master is even without the oh ring. so the ring wasn't even a factor now respond to my voice the time has come to bring judgment upon the earth I am one with destruction absorb the power of every foes on in the that land. doesn't sound good oh no this empty shell of a world. Again, again, if he just killed the King of Valentine, a lot of this bad stuff would kind of been avoided. Hey, look, it's Ingwe. What a terrible sight. So this is what remains of King Valentine. Ingwe, you're alive? You still hide, coward. Are you any better? You fled from the netherworld. Oh, sick burn. How rude. Hard to believe. You share my noble blood. Oh, we are very much alike. We both lust for power. Power? What power could you possibly hold? Funny you ask that. Let me show you the Darkova. Relive Titania once again. Oh shit! Ingwe is gonna do what everybody else should have fucking done. Precious cauldron into scrap. Will you fight to the death? Aye, unpleasant, isn't it? The cowardly prince who destroyed his country will give his life to save. Him. There you go. Ingwe is being a cool guy for once. So hey, maybe this whole Armageddon thing might turn out okay after all. There it is again. Someone is calling upon the power of Darkova once more. Stop! My blood is boiling, but the anticipation awakens a sick pleasure inside me. My heart is growing dark. Gallen, our queen who set your shackles has been sent into the darkness. No one shall interfere with the king's freedom once again. So our boss is kind of dead. Can we have jobs? So this is what King Gallen looks like. 
It's a zombie Darkova. Oh, I don't like that voice. I am your humble servant. Ah, oh, damn it, it's Beldor. But my loyalty has not. I am Beldor, a wise man. So this is what happens to Puka when they die. Which means King Valentine is a Puka. That the Holia are able to traverse the border between life and death. As the new power figure in the Netherworld, all you need to do is command them. Show me the way. Let us abominations leave and enter the living world so we can devour life. So, shit's starting to pop off in the netherworld. Back in Onyx's kingdom. What's happening? The land is collapsing. What? Highness, the ocean rises. If this continues, tis only a matter of time until our land sinks below the waves. The prophecies begin. King Onyx! Your Majesty, what can we do? There is no going back now. We shall march inland. Time to burn everything. Prophecies tell of our demise when we get to the world tree. There is no world tree. That story is a mere fable. We shall burn the forest away and prove that those prophecies are false. Inform all in the fire realm. The time to seize the world has arrived. So, Onyx's plan is to just burn everything. Burn them all! How's Odin handling things? Odin, at this rate... Galen runs the netherworld. Do we have any troops? Our infantry has been completely annihilated. The Valkyrie... The main gate is destroyed. The enemy is inside the palace. So the Aesir aren't doing so great. Ah. Uh, I knew this day would... I made the Baylor for this. Oh. If only I still had it. Yeah, that shit got blown up. At least he can still punch like a badass. Although, how long can he last? Oh, dear. Why, tis Griselda. Have you lost your way in all this chaos? So Griselda's ghost is here. I have never done anything fatherly for you. Not once. If I could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? You had like two other daughters, You're dude. So And Odin's dead. Well, that's that's the end of the ace here. As foretold, death triumphs. From the balcony, you can see the dark troops cover the mountain and be Your father is super the dead. Shall soon arrive here. Red Nunavil must be Super done. It, it's just Princess, gone. Remain calm. We must escape from here. I understand you must be worried about Oswald who went to gather information. 
Princess Gwendolyn, this way. He shall take you to safety. Miris, I'm sorry. Please fetch my spear. Princess Gwendolyn. It's been a while since Gwendolyn got into the fight. I shall follow Oswald. No, you mustn't. Fear not. I am a Valkyrie. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly away. I don't think the Puka Village is going to do so well either. I don't think any place is good during Armageddon. If we are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming. Hurry! What? No. Griselda? Are you... here for me? Knock down the crown. Do not forget your role from the epic poems. Griselda? So for this particular update, we're going for the bad endings. We'll cover the true ending in the next update. So for the first fight against the six-eyed beast, that being the Darkova, i.e. Ingwe, we're going to use Velvet. So this, this is not going to be very good. Because the only one who can actually beat the Darkova properly is Cornelius. But hey, for some of these fights, there are still some very unique cutscenes. I had this premonition that you'd throw your life away. Your life, princess. Who are you? Why is the Darkova quiet? I see you fail to recognize me. I am Beldor, Scully's compatriot. You're that sorcerer. Thanks to the curse he cast upon me, I can still act even after death. So Puka are immortal? What did you do to Ingwe? He did that to himself. It's true. He tried to stop the cauldron. He tried to stop Armageddon. Like a cool guy. Destiny has a sense of irony. For now he is the very thing that will cause it. Ah, teleporting bullshit persists. Devour your twin sister. Let tears of blood flow. Ingwei, I understand. If I can't save you, I'll... So, there are quite a few bad endings, depending on which character you choose to fight each particular boss, and I'm going to show off each and every one of them. So, the fight with the Darkova still hasn't changed all that much, but... There are a few particular bad endings, depending on who you choose to play as against him. But again, like I mentioned in the previous update, the proper matchup against the Darkova is Cornelius. So using anyone else but him is going to result in a bad ending. Yeah, you didn't see that in Odin's castle because the heads just recede into the body and they're moving around. Oh, it's awful. I hate it. It's so gross. But yeah, the uh, Book of Armageddon chapter is just a straight up boss rush. You choose each of the characters to just fight against one boss. Just one after the other. And depending on if you chose the right character or not, well, you get a different cutscene. 
But again, the only way to get the proper good ending of this game is to choose the characters who were referenced in the epic poems. Yeah, just use Glafnir. That does some good damage. Alright, we nearly got one of the heads done. It's kind of like the Cerberus boss right from DMC3 and DMC5. Because they got different eye colors and stuff. Oh, and one of the heads falls off. It is like the Cerberus boss right from Devil May Cry. So now he's not even Cerberus, he's Orthus. And there goes the second one. And down he goes. But like I said, this is a bad ending. to our mother together the three of us together just like before well both of you have perished the cipher is powerful I underestimated it there's still the book I shall not give up what? Where is it? No. Did he drop it? Somewhere in this firestorm? <laughs> Good luck, fucker. You damned fool! Ugh. I shall persevere. I cannot give up. So, let's see if Mercedes fights Ingwei. Let's see what happens then. I'm sure this won't end terribly. Oh dear. What are you? It's been a while. Who are you? You don't recognize me. I have decayed since we last met, but I am Beldor, the sorcerer. You're Beldor? Oh yeah, they did know each other, didn't they? I believe I owe you. I also owe your mother.
father. If you give me the ring of Tetrell, I will refrain from attacking Ringford. I think Ringford's already gone. What? Tell me where it is. Even if I knew, I would never tell you. Very well. Since you cannot help me, I will grind you into dust. Don't underestimate my bow. Shoot him. Careful with that, my dear. You might injure your little friend. Huh? Do you remember the frog Ingwe? I'm sure you do. Oh, this is not great. He transformed himself into this, but he did not know we had a spell to rule beasts. Conveniently enough. He's a much better servant than Belial. Oh, that's a Later, dick move. I shall inform him that he devoured the fairy queen. Yeah. Again, the three wise men are just kind of assholes. From beginning to end. Again, the fight's not much different, except this time you're playing as Mercedes. And this one is... Oh, boy. Both Velvet and Mercedes are just having a rough time. It's not great. And bear in mind, the prophecy only said that there'd be two survivors. A man and a woman. Well, you know, we've got five playable characters. So that probably means we're going to lose a few. For this particular update, I used my save data from my PlayStation Vita when I initially played this game on my own time. So if the character levels and abilities are a little different, that's the reason why. Yeah, Ingwe's kind of just been the subject of a lot of transformations recently. At first, he was a prince, then he became a frog, and he turned back into a prince, and now he's Cerberus Fenrir, or Darkova in this case. He has just been having a very interesting week. I guess it's a little fitting considering he cursed Cornelius. Only now he's one of the harbingers of the apocalypse. I really like the Darkova's design. I think it looks really cool. Although King Gallon is a zombified version of the Darkova. And yeah, no, it, ugh. it looks, uh, mm. he doesn't look so great. Very spooky. Yeah, really try to use Mercedes' range to your advantage. She might take a bit more damage than the other characters, but hey, she's got range to work with. And she can fly. Use that to your advantage.
And down he goes. Again. Let's see how this turned out. Not well. Not well. Oh no, Mercedes. Interfering in my affairs. Spit it out. Where is the ring? Boom! You control me no longer. Dingway! Oh. I guess he wasn't immortal. Why couldn't you have done that to your granddad? Queen. Sorry, you're hurt, aren't you? Now nah, this is just sad. Talk. Shh. It's all right. Just wait. I'll go call the fairies. Don't go. I want to tell you. I have so much to say. You know what? I defeated the ace here. I know. The fairy queen led her troops to victory. You did well. <sighs> Mercedes. Don't laugh, okay? Ingwe, I... I really care for you. Truly. And strike me down! Smite me, please! Mercedes. Tis unbearable. Do you know how painful it is to hear that? My destiny is cursed. I cannot reciprocate your pure feelings. Now I realize what my heart has been telling me. <laughs> Big ups to Liam O'Brien and Stephanie Shea. That is one of my favorite bad endings of Odin Sphere. Damn, that is. Oh. It's freaking heartbreaking. There's another really good one coming up. One that I really like. You know, it, it's a bit weird to say that, but still. And now this is the standard bad ending for anyone who's not Velvet or Mercedes. So tell me, Ingwe, how does it feel to be the beast of Armageddon? King Valentine. Wrong. <laughs> when you found that mystic power, you didn't learn everything about it. The most important part has been kept from you. Urza made it a secret. Mystic power. The wise men may be dead and gone, but... Ironically, the great Beldor may die, but my spirit survives, thanks to the Puka curse you cast upon me. Probably should have just killed him normally. You cannot defy me anymore. After the tragedy of King Galon in Titania, we continued our research. So that even if Darkova went completely mad, we would still be able to control it. I doubt you can understand me, considering you have a beast's mind. In any case, you will serve me, so that I can become king. King of what? Now burn The everything. world's gone, dude. What in places has happened? I've become... So now it's time to show my overpowered Oswald. Who is level 99 in everything, and it's super buff. Just can do shit tons of damage. So yeah, there is a standard bad ending, you know, for characters who don't really interact with some of the, you know, Harbingers of the Apocalypse. So since Oswald doesn't know or really care about Ingwe, 
Yeah, there's no real dialogue between the two of them. And yeah, you thought Oswald was doing stupid damage before? Now look at him. Just doing ridiculous amounts of damage. And his Berserk Gauge lasts forever. Just stupid long. Even his regular damage is just doing a shit ton. Again, I really like Oswald. Yeah, I don't even really need health potions at this point. Because Oswald's getting so many damn crits and, and he's doing so much damage and he's barely taking any damage to begin with. That, yeah, it, it's just it, not a really a big deal. I don't need items for this. Yeah. Two at the same time. Don't even care. But again, bad ending. So Oswald's dead, Finally somehow. Dead, huh? You jewel handlers, you've wasted everything. The spell is broken. It seems that the user must be titanian royalty if the power is to work properly. In any event, this will not last long. I now know the mystic power. I will simply curse someone else and control them. No, you won't. <laughs> Go back to your grave. Ingwei. Death is no barrier. The dead roam freely here. My mind is finally clear. But I have little time. I must stop the cauldron. I need to reach it. So hey, out of two or three bad endings, Beldor dies. Nice. All right, time to fight King Galen now. Well, the proper opponent for him is Oswald, so let's use Cornelius instead. Let's have Cornelius fight his granddad. creature so that was your voice so you remember me how could i forget the beast that devoured his own citizens the former king of titania and of all things my grandfather add filicide to my oh grandfather. no what no not father my three mouths consume indiscriminately what I eat becomes a feast for the maggots in my belly. So your dad's they dead. Sorry, shit. Cornelius. I thought it would help, but it proved to be useless. I shall bury you with this sword like my father did. Are you suggesting that my destiny is to be killed by my own bloodline? It shall not go as you planned. Cornelius can do it. He's cool. He's a hero. And also, he's a bit under level compared to the other characters. So despite being an undead version of Darkova, King Gallon has quite a few different moves to work with. In fact, the way that you actually damage him properly is also rather different. You have to destroy all three of his heads and then attack his heart. Lather, rinse, repeat. And also deal with a bunch of undead. And Cornelius' air game is not so great.
Oh, gross. Maggots are everywhere. He was not lying about the maggots. There's a lot of them. Yeah, Spark Bolt doesn't work quite as well here. This stage does give you quite a bit of Fozons to work with, what with all the undead you have to fight. Although it does become a little bit of a cluster after a while. But then again, a lot of fights have been a kind of a cluster here and there. So nothing terribly new. Really? Inventory management bullshit at this point of the game? Really? Brody. Yeah, King Gallon can do some very gross stuff, as expected of the undead boss. I may have mentioned this way, way, way back when, but I'm pretty sure, like, King Gallon in the story of Ragnarok, if I had to compare him to somebody, would be Hell, as in H-E-L, which is also the name of the place in the, which is also the name of the underworld in Norse mythology. It, it's confusing. It's one of the, do it's a child of Loki. Basically, she's the queen of the undead, at least if I'm remembering Norse mythology properly. But yeah, big, spooky, scary skeleton person. Kind of comparable to the giant, scary skeleton Cerberus. Little bit. King slash queen of the underworld. Netherworld, whatever you want to call it. Usually whenever I hear the word Netherworld popped up, it's usually in regards to the Skya. And down he goes, finally. However, bad ending, since Oswald's the only one who can really put him down. Despair floods my heart. It gouges at my mind. It pounds my shattered skull. That 
woman's curse is like a parasite winding through my decrepit body. Oh. Turns me to and he's state. back up and ready for more. It's a nightmare. Odette cast a curse on me, keeping my body in this immortal rotting. It's not great. Odette is dead. Super dead. How keen of you. Only she can remove this curse of immortality. But that cannot be done now. I am an eternal being, and I cannot be defeated. <sighs> this is the end of my land, and the end of our battle. If I were to eat your flesh and hold you, in my rotting stomach. The vileness of such an act would give this body indescribable pleasure. Your heart's as rotten as your body. Indeed. I was once a hero to this nation, but alas, now I am a feared beast. Now, Cornelius, become part of King Gallen. Well, bye, Cornelius. Yeah, not great. Not great. He only has the one unique bad ending. Let's have him fight Velvet this time. So Velvet, go ahead and meet your boyfriend's really evil zombie grandfather. Yeah, this ain't great. He's a zombie. Do you take me for a saint? This rapture, this joy, you will soon understand it. The mystic power is flawed. To think that I saved you. Let me put an end to your ungrateful life. Have you lost all love for your son? Is that part of you gone, father? This illusion called love will die along with the world. I will tear you limb from limb, and the beast will be no more. And Edmund is dead, but we already knew that. So yeah, no unique cutscene for anyone else besides Cornelius. It's the same fight. I chose Velvet because she has a bit of a better air game to work with. And also, she is significantly higher leveled than Cornelius. By a wide margin. Also because I played as her recently. Honestly, out of all the bosses to fight, this one might be, you know, one of the more annoying ones. Again, kind of for the same reason as the uh, stone golem, but with his only weakness being his nose. This one's kind of annoying because you have to aim at this thing's heart, which kind of involves you having to do some air combos. But again, eh, it's, it's okay. It's not terribly bad. Just a little annoying, that's all. 
Again, I think that's also probably the reason why I leveled up Oswald as much as I did, to just get through the boss as fast as possible. The rest of the bosses for Armageddon aren't as bad. Then again, this one isn't really that bad. And down he goes. All right, let's see what the standard bad ending from King Gallon is. Oh, no. Yeah, Velvet's super dead. You the Holly just go nuts.
King Galen. You must know. The air of the netherworld has seeped into my bones. My body may rot, but it will never fall. Tis a curse Odette put on me so that I may suffer for eternity. <laughs> but now, this curse works in my favor. Nice job, Odette. The only one who can best me is that woman, and she is no longer here. Good job, Gwendolyn. Definitely the spookiest of the Armageddon bosses. So now it's time to fight Onyx. Let's use Gwendolyn, shall we? There's two unique bad endings for this one. Coincidentally, this is one of my other favorite bad endings of this game. I can't keep flying. The flames are over there. Hey, you're... Vulcans, do not attack! Well, well. King Onyx. Poor girl. All this soot has ruined your perfect skin. Oh, boy. The damp wood creates so much smoke. Nolan North is really getting Why in there. Really hamming it up. I love it. Can't you hear the tremors? Our land is beneath the sea. We have nowhere to go. But don't worry. We shall take this world from the humans and rule it. If flames rule the world, tis as bad as sinking. I must prevent it. Look at her talk. How you underestimate me. I did not fight you before. I did not want you to see. See me like this! Oh, goodness. This is who you really are? Do I frighten you? <sighs> you could never love me. But you are no paragon of virtue yourself. You have killed so many. And with that bloody hand, you caressed the neck of that terrible swordsman. You threw away your purity. I'm getting some Adachi vibes from this guy. Putting on some really heavy Adachi vibes. I would say that Onyx is trying to play the whole nice guy routine, but he really isn't. Not really. He's kind of just an asshole. An asshole voiced by Nolan North, but an asshole nonetheless. Yeah, Onyx has not changed that much. He's just a higher level and he just does a lot more damage. And it's been a hot minute since I played as Gwendolyn. But it's rather appropriate that she's the one who fights him. You know, ice versus fire. See, with Galen, I can understand there being a bad ending because, you know, the only one who can really kill him is Oswald because Oswald is the shadow of Odette. That makes sense. Everyone, every other bad ending fight, you know, where the hero dies doesn't really make sense because at no point it's like, okay, the Dark Cove is not invincible and neither is Onyx. So I'm not entirely sure what the deal is. They also mentioned that Leventhin can only be brought down by, like, a blue cipher. So that makes sense. All right, fine. So so Mercedes, Oswald, and Velvet can't take down Leventhin. But that should still mean that Cornelius can take it down. But, you know, it is what it is.
You know, it's not a uh, Nolan North's most well-known role, but I really like Onyx. Just for how hammy he is. The times that uh, Nolan plays in like anime games, I really like them. This and Mr. Champloo from Disgaea 3. Oh, they're really fun. They're just a lot of fun. Okay, for this next one, Nolan, just really scream. Just really, like, let loose. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a previous update, but if there's any character in Ragnarok that matches up with Onyx, it's Surtur. The fire that's just gonna burn everything. Surtur popped up in Thor Ragnarok, so yeah, it makes sense. Although the first time I ever saw Surtur was in uh, the SMT series. Has some really strong fire magic. Time for a big super move. Have some gun gear, bitch. <laughs> it didn't really do that much. Okay, that's that's fair. Oh well. And down he goes. But, I said it once, I'll say it again. Bad ending. Oh. Well. Gwendolyn's dead. Lord Onyx! Are you wounded? Vulcans! None of you touch Gwendolyn's remains. King Onyx. Silence! The ocean fast approaches. We must advance, or... Forget about me. Flee if you wish. Go! Get out of my sight! We have no choice. We must stay here. This always happens. I turn my most precious treasure to ashes. Oh, Gwendolyn. My tears of sorrow will snuff out my soul's fire. Why did destiny bring me to you? I'm not letting you go. You belong to me now. And I will never let you go. Like I said, it's not his most famous role, but damn. There's a reason why you hire Nolan North. Let's see how Oswald fares. These two have a score to settle. And this is the only unique bad ending for Oswald, by the way. Let the environment that has 
worked against us help keep our flames alight. Lord Onyx. What is it? The Shadow Knight approaches. We cannot restrain him. Oswald, eh? Fuck. What is happening, Onyx? Why are you here? Answer me! You need a reason? Then I shall tell you. I decided I want the world. All of it. I thought you were more intelligent than this, but it seems I was mistaken. It saddens me as well. Now that we have met again, shall I wipe away my dishonor? Or shall I be reduced to ashes? I will not make the mistake of letting you live this time. This is not like before. Before leaving the Fire Kingdom, I absorbed the hottest lava into myself. I am now, without a doubt, the incarnation of a blazing inferno! Yeah, but Oswald's level 99, so this fight's not gonna last very long. Although, again, bad ending. For lack of a better word, yeah, Oswald just melts through Onyx. Just cuts right through him. And that's before the Berserk mode. Just obscene amounts of damage. I grinded like crazy with Oswald. I just made him the absolute strongest. I don't need to block, dodge, or use potions or anything. Oswald can tank everything. Down he goes. Let's see this bad ending now. Cause it ain't great. <laughs> You've chiseled away at me, but I am still at my full strength. <sighs> what? Can't you change? You can't be done already. No. You will die. Hmm. How many times did you use your power in that battle? You've reached your limit. It's like at a Dragon Ball Z right now. Shut up. And watch. Oswald, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, no. I think Oswald went berserk one too many times. He has lost his power and his identity. Oh. His soul has been devoured. Well. He's a mere shadow now. Just like the rest. So this is the end of the Shadow Knight. I shall inform Gwendolyn of your fate when I meet her. Yes, your pathetic end. Now come, leave him be. Well, my work here is done. <laughs> Gwendolyn. 
Yeah, not great. Not great. So time for the standard bad ending. What were they going to do? The forest has to come to our power. The prophecies are lies. What? I cannot permit this assault on the sacred... Hey, it's Nolan North versus Nolan North. When did knights become trained to use sneak attacks? would be a disgrace to let you live then die in disgrace welcome the looming fire that appears at world's end oh <laughs> just fucking uppercuts a unicorn <laughs> oh i love it i love it it's definitely one of Nolan North's hammiest roles, where he was just able to go absolutely freaking crazy. And down he goes again. Let's see what happened to Cornelius. I am pleased that our reserve troops made it in time. Yes, it was close. He did better than Oswald. <laughs> My ladies of the flame, thank you for rescuing me. What happened to the cipher user? You were injured, and we could not contain our wrath. Not even ashes remain. Oof. I see. Sucks. Our are quite powerful, and we lost many Sucks comrades. for Cornelius. We own the forest. Now what? Lord Onyx, you must know. We are weakening after separating from the origin of fire. 
Our homeland is now completely underwater, and we... Tis but a minor distraction. Let us find the cauldron. Once we control that, we shall be victorious. That doesn't sound Defense good. The troops, hurry! Give your lives if you must. Speaking of the cauldron, yeah, this one doesn't have a unique bad end. Nor does the final boss fight. So King Valentine's just being a dick, as usual. Absorb it all. Let the world wither away. You fools wish to stop me? Witness my sins. Mercedes can do it. <laughs> she can save the day. Your jewels cannot destroy the cauldron. It still has work to do. Now, bury those who dare to interfere so that the dear child may sleep undisturbed. So now it's time to fight the cauldron itself. And it's kind of like King Gallant's boss fight, where you have to attack the eye before the cauldron's actual weak spot emerges. This is the reason why I chose Mercedes, because she can fly and doesn't really have to deal with too much, like, platforming. Although, honestly, I probably should have chose Oswald. Eh, variety is the spice of life. And there's the weak spot. Just hammer the hell out of it. And now you know how the boss fight plays out. Lather, rinse, repeat. Again, it's not a terribly difficult boss fight. It just takes a little while. That's all. Oh, goodness. Just a big-ass laser. Again, it's not a terribly difficult boss fight, but it, these boss fights do really look cool. Like, forget the airship. This thing looks awesome. Really spooky, though. 
I guess the cauldron was just a straight up war machine whenever it was initially used. This thing can do a lot of shit. I mean, it's powerful enough to be referenced in the epic poems. I don't think there's anything similar in Ragnarok to the cauldron. I'm trying to think. I'm not really... I don't really have anything. I'm not sure. I don't think there is anything that's similar to this in Ragnarok. I think this is its own thing. Let's see Brionac one more time. It's not a spear, but you know what? It still looks pretty cool. And down it goes. Hey, gotta level up. Nice. And that's the cauldron, but again, bad ending. So let's see how this one plays out. Wake up, cauldron. Can you not hear me? No. The furnace's core has been cracked. Oh, sucks for you. We will all be vaporized. That includes you. Good. Come, oh wait. The time for your awakening has arrived. Rise from your cradle. You shall devour the world. It's just a baby dragon. What's the worst they could do? Cipher handler. Die with the cauldron. Um oh. That is not a baby dragon anymore. That's a very big dragon. And also, Mercedes is super dead now. Run, Mercedes, or fly away, or... Oh. Okay. Yeah, she's... She's not having a very good time in this update. Well, time to fight Leventhin. Well, you know what? Oswald's similar to Siegfried, and he killed a dragon. So, hey, maybe Oswald can do it. Sure, he's got a red cipher, but who cares? He can handle this. Oh, damn. Wonderful. That is a sick-ass-looking dragon. Yeah, and Leventhin is pretty much one-to-one -one with Jormungandr. The world serpent. To have my soul bound so... And to be destined to suffer for eternity. This curse is unbearable. Ah, yes. Now it begins. This land of terrible suffering... Destroy it completely! Wipe away my sins and my body with them! Oh, and King Valentine's gone, finally, but it's a little too late. So, as Griselda said, attack the crown, which is embedded on one of Leventhin's horns. And it's playing the main theme of the game. Oh, but this version of Oswald's only level 51. He's not super busted. 
Ah, well, it's fine. He can do some decent damage anyway. So hey, I guess you could call this the dragon's crown. Ah, not really though. Yet yeah, strangely enough, Leventhin looks more like an Eastern dragon as opposed to a dragon that would show up in Norse mythology. But again, Jormungandr, so you know, th that's fine. It works. Although that doesn't explain why the Darkova is basically Cerberus instead of Fenrir. Ah, eh, whatever, it looks cool, that's fine. Just keep attacking that one horn. Just never stop. Break it off. And somehow that will kill it. That is a big ass laser beam. That's a super strong breath weapon. Again, give it to Vanillaware. They know how to make sick ass looking dragon designs. They look cool as fuck. I love these things. They look great. All the monster designs in Vanillaware games are fantastic. But yeah, I've basically been singing this song all game long. Vanillaware has amazing artwork, but still, damn. Just a little more, and down it goes! Break that fucking horn off! However, this is Armageddon, and it's also the last bad ending. A truly terrible ending. The light is raining down upon the earth. The one controlling that light must be the king from the prophecies. An omen from the sky. It's not great. Brom. This isn't good. The ground here is sinking. And that's on Horn Mountain, too. If the land collapses, not one soul will survive. 
terrible. We cannot flee any further. We have to climb. Hurry. It's not going to matter. The tip of Horn Mountain is sinking. This is the last piece of land in Arion. Whose wish was this? Please. As long as someone survives this cataclysm, I would gladly give my body and soul up to the heavens. If my wish comes true, and someone I love survives, then my death would have some meaning. This, this is a terrible ending. <sighs> well, that's going to do it for this update. On the next update, the true ending. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next update. Until then, see ya. Oh. Uh -huh.